Hi, I'm Alex, and I, today I figured I'd show you my Minecraft server. It's uh, running on a Optiplex 745, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so yeah, I, I figured I'd show you inside it too. I don't know if you can see this, but it's pretty dusty in here. I don't open it very often. And it runs 24-7. Um, this is a... Uh, this is the hard drive I use. It's just a normal hard drive. Not very fancy, just I think 500 gig. Um, I don't use that much space, but I have it if I need it. Um, it has a disk drive. Uh, I don't use this on a normal basis. I don't think I've ever used it. Um, it runs 8 gigs of DDR2 RAM, uh, I don't know what speed it is, but maybe, maybe you can see that. So that's, that's the RAM, nothing special, but, uh, yeah, it, it serves well, um, it does have some issues. We've had trouble with uh, elytras. So, um, I'm just gonna put this together. Quick. I got it from my grandpa. Um, the internet card was broken in it apparently at some point uh, so I took that out and it has onboard ethernet when I got it a lot of these capacitors in here were uh, exploded I don't know I might be able to show you a picture of what they looked like but uh, little tiny things. It took a little while to put them back and put new ones in there, but it wasn't that hard and it wasn't that expensive. I don't know, eight bucks for 20 of them or something? 10 or 20 of them? I didn't need that many. I only used like, uh, probably like five. But yeah, that's, that's the inside of it. Oh, I didn't explain what the, uh, CPU is in here. It originally came with Core 2 Duo. Uh, not very fast. It didn't work very well. But um, now it has a uh, Core 2 Extreme QX6700. Uh, not super powerful, but it's an upgrade from uh, dual core to uh, quad core. Four cores, four threads. Uh, yeah. So now I think I'll show you the software side of things. So we'll be back. Before I show you the software, I'm going to show you the back side of it. Um, not much plugged into it. We have the VGA connector here. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of dark. Um, this is serial. This is plugged into the back of my main computer. So I can control it. Uh, there's a Wi-Fi card. I don't use it, though. Uh, this is an Ethernet cable. And power cable. Figured I'd show you what it looks like when it's on. Um, see the green light on there? Uh, I have a wireless keyboard plugged in in the front and I run my uh, LED strip underneath my desk. Uh, it's not too complicated, it's a really cheap one. Uh, but it does have a remote. It can change the colors and stuff. And red. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like when I boot it up. Alright, so this is what it looks like when I first booted up. Uh, it's running Linux. 
I don't know if you're familiar with that or not, but uh, it's mostly uh, command line, so that's what it normally runs. It's not usually on the desktop. It does have a desktop though. So I'm going to log in here. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you first sign in. Uh, just says welcome. But I am going to uh, change directory to uh, where the server is located. Uh, it's running uh, Spigot, which is a, like, it's kind of like Bucket, but I don't know what the difference is, but they're very similar. It runs plugins and stuff. Uh, so, we're in the directory now. I made a program, a simple program. I don't know if it's in this directory or not. Let's see here. No, it's not in this directory. Um, I'll show you what the program looks like here. Yeah, it's in this directory. It's on the desktop. Okay. Uh, so I'll just go into a text editor and show you what it looks like. It's a C++ program. Yeah. Okay. Very simple. Just has IO stream. Um, I just have it set up to tell you basic basic instructions here. Uh, yeah. This program will start a Minecraft server with an amount of memory you specify. Recommended amount will be about 3,000 megabytes. Uh, and then just asks for what you want for memory wise. And then it takes in the variable. And then it just runs the Java command here. And the uh, server jar has to be named server.jar. Sometimes it's not, so you have to rename it. Pretty simple. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the other directory. So it's very simple for me to start up my server. I just type in sudo dot slash start mc serve. And then it asks me how many megabytes I want. And I'm just going to put in 6500 because that's what's stable. It tells me it's outdated because when I got this version, it was in its early stages. It's running 1.15.2 uh, right now. So it's just going to start up here. I don't know if you can hear that, but the uh, fans always run full blast. Uh, there's something wrong with the temperature sensor or something. So, I don't know. I looked in there, I didn't see anything blaringly wrong, but it is an old computer. It's like, it's got to be at least 10 years old. So now it's loading the world, the nether, and the end. Now it's loading in all the different uh, plugins, and we're done. So, uh, World Guard is pretty simple. It just like protects my spawn area and stuff. Uh, Core Protect uh, kind of 
anti-griefing kind of plugin. It will tell you what blocks have been broken. It'll tell you like who broke that block and stuff. So that's cool. Uh, we also run Essentials X. Um, that gives me like different commands. It allows the players to set homes, which is pretty nice because you don't always want to walk back to your house after you've gone somewhere really far away. You just type in slash home and then whatever the name of the home is, which is nice. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I can show you my website that I made for it. If I do show you the website, it'll probably be in a separate video. Okay. Alex out.